Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken project that doesn't open after an engine upgrade and throws this error of needing to recompile from source. Okay, so the first step is you want to go ahead and delete all of your temporary files. So in my case, uh, I have some temporary files for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code because this is a C++ project. From there, you can go ahead and delete your binaries because we're going to have to rebuild those. In addition, you can delete build if you have it. This, these are uh, staging files for when you package up your game. We want to leave content and config because that's our settings for our project as well as our project's assets. Uh, we do want to delete intermediate. Those are temporary files that get generated. From there, you will also want to delete saved. Those are any saved files, logs, screenshots, etc. And then we need to delete this .ignore file from Visual Studio Code, the Visual Studio Code workspace, and your .sln if you have one. So all of these are safe to delete, and all the ones I'm leaving, you want to go ahead and leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. So if you are curious about what files are safe to delete and why, and kind of the reason you have to delete those in the first place, I have a video uh, that I've recently made. I'll go ahead and link that on the screen now. I'll also put it on the end screen as well as in the video description in case you're curious. Now that we've gone ahead and deleted our temporary files, the next step is to go into your .u project, and we're going to edit it with a text editor. In my case, I'm gonna use Notepad++. For this, we can see that the engine version is 4.27, and we have a couple of external plugins that we have. So this project was originally made in 4.23, and I've just recently upgraded it to 4.27, which broke the build, because it was a lot of engine upgrades, and it was a C++ project, so that's why it's broken. But I currently don't have 4.27 set up on my uh, machine, so in this case, we're actually gonna wanna upgrade it all the way up to 5.0. So I'm gonna just go ahead and remove 4.27, and I'm gonna set this to 5.0 to open it up with Unreal Engine 5.0, because if I didn't do that, this would actually fail, since 4.27 isn't set up for this machine at the moment. Okay, so the next thing is I have these old plugins from 4.23, so FMOD Studio and Houdini Engine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set these to false, uh, just so that way they don't build, because otherwise they're gonna throw out some errors. So false. And doing it here is the same thing as just setting it in your project. So if you had any uh, plugins uh, that were external that you turn on in the plugins window of Unreal, uh, this is the exact same thing, just turning them on and off uh, externally. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and I'm gonna close that out. So from here, uh, we have changed the Unreal Engine version, deleted all of the temporary files, staging files, and safe to delete files, and we've removed any deprecated plugins. So now we can right click on our .u project and generate Visual Studio project files, which is gonna regenerate uh, all the temporary files needed to actually open it from source. You can see that we now have our .sln file to open it, this up in Visual Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now that our project is opened up in Visual Studio, we can go ahead and right click on our project and I'm gonna go ahead and do a full rebuild. Okay, our project has successfully rebuilt. You can see that it's one success. The next step is to go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Control F5 to run it without debugging. And that was a success, so now it's gonna open up in Unreal Engine. So we have successfully not only upgraded it to Unreal Engine 5 from 4.27, originally from 4.23, uh, but in addition to that, we've had a nice clean rebuild, and if I hit play, I can go ahead and immediately play the game. And everything is working as intended. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you want to see more videos like it. If this video was helpful, go ahead, give me a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos in the future. And if you have any comments on this, go ahead and leave a comment. And with that, I'm out.